Some of our landscape trees have peculiar habits, including how they flower and produce seeds. We're getting reports this year of a pretty heavy seed crop for silver maples, which we're standing by right here. Silver maple actually tells a fun story about how it produces its seeds, starting with the fact that a silver maple is one of the first trees to wake up in late winter or early spring, long before the leaves come out, the flowers come out on a silver maple. Late February or early March even, when winter's not even done, they seem to have amazing uh, antifreeze tolerance in those flowers. But that early flowering can also mean if we get into a cold snap, it'll freeze off some of those seeds that are starting to develop and reduce the overall crop of silver maple seeds in a cold year. Another really interesting fact about silver maples is that the trees can be male or female. Generally, there's a male tree or a female tree, but believe it or not, some trees can have both male and female flowers. An interesting fact about silver maples, too, is that they can shift from male tree to female tree some years, and so that might explain why some years you don't have a very heavy seed crop. But there does seem to be, for certain silver maple trees, this idea that they're super producers, and a tree next to my house in Waverly produces a heavy seed crop almost every year. Last year, almost none. So what's going on there? That leads to another concept. We talk about masting, especially for our forest trees. Masting is the idea that a trees, our trees in the forest are dropping their mast, which is the edible seeds of trees to the ground that animals will then consume. Mast is just the nuts or the fruits of the trees, and masting is this idea that in some years, trees across the forest produce heavier seed crops than other years. What's going on there? Well, the theory from botanists is there's a couple things at play. First of all, if we have a heavy seed crop some years, it out produces seeds that the predator in animals that are eating those seeds can consume at one time. So if you have more seeds than animals, more seeds have a chance to germinate and grow. And that's one theory about uh, masting and the cyclical nature of it. The other idea there being that in a heavy year, when if you had seed crops every year that were a heavy year, the animal predation populations from things like rabbits and squirrels and mice would increase so much that the trees could never produce edible, or excuse me, seeds that grow up to become big trees. So that's the theory between, behind masting. Oak trees are more associated with masting, not just oaks, but nut trees in general. And oaks are really thought to be mast trees where they're not producing a heavy crop every year, but they're genetically cycling through so that every second, third, or fourth year, they have a heavy seed crop. The theory is that those heavy seed crops outproduce the predator animals that are coming to eat those seeds so that there's a higher possibility that some seeds can germinate and become trees over time. So don't worry so much about your trees producing heavy seed crops. Remember, we can't have trees if we don't have the seeds they produce. They cycle through this. Some years are heavier than others, and next year will probably be a lighter seed crop.